Apex Legends is no longer compatible with Linux and the Steam Deck. An announcement that came out of nowhere is filled with vague information and poses just another obstacle to Linux gaming in following down the road of Rockstar and Riot Games. In today's video I want to talk about their decision to remove Apex from Linux, their reasoning on why they deemed it necessary, if their statements are even true and why this repeated occurrence actually hurts the gaming scene on Linux in general. Let's get straight into it. On the 31st of October, EA announced they were dropping Linux support for Apex Legends as a measure to combat cheating. Their official reasoning is that they have identified Linux as being a path for a variety of impactful exploits and cheats, that the openness of it is attractive to cheaters and cheat developers and that Linux cheats are harder to detect. Another problem according to them is that while the player base on Linux is small, a cheater that uses Linux or disguises their PC as such to avoid detection can still have a measurable impact on other players' games. Well, that's honestly no surprise. One cheater in a room with 59 legit players is still going to cause some trouble. However, looking at the number of people playing on Linux in general, the actual amount of cheaters coming from Linux could have only been really small. I've already seen some YouTubers or people in the online community talk about cheats that were exclusively made for Linux. And since many of them are free and sometimes even open source, that this makes cheating much more attractive than on Windows. But I strongly disagree here, because if an anti-cheat vendor cannot handle open source cheats, then their solution is just useless. Free cheats that are closed source. Those are the problem. Anyway, what I'd like to point out in this article is that they mentioned that combating cheaters on Linux requires an outsized level of focus and attention. And it's this point in particular that I want to focus on, since it basically tells the whole story. There are some cheaters on Linux, just like on Windows, one cheater is enough to ruin the experience for many others, and since combating them would cause more internal efforts rather than just removing support, they're just simply going to do that. PC gaming has always had a cheating problem, but it has gotten really bad in the past couple of years. Only having to focus on one point of entry, that being Windows, makes sense from a financial perspective. And that's why this is happening. But aren't they just relying on a third-party anti-cheat developer anyway? How does Linux support increase costs for them? Well, I started digging a bit and to no surprise, there is a lot of work that needs to be put into the game itself to fix exploits. But what does anti-cheat do then? It's just a program that you can install into any game. So how does it differentiate between games if they work differently? Well, in most cases, that is if you're not a huge publisher that has some sort of special contract for a certain game, it's like an antivirus. It is looking through your PC, game files and memory and tries to find things that aren't supposed to be there. Since it is also always connected to a server, it also regularly pulls updates to newly detected cheats and does some regular checkups to make sure that the client side of the anti-cheat still does its job and isn't manipulated. On Windows this can be done via a service that runs at the kernel level, known as a kernel level anti-cheat. But both macOS and Linux do not offer this, so this can make detection a lot harder, but not impossible. So if we assume that this is the solution that Respawn uses for Apex Legends and that they don't have a special development team working exclusively for them from Epic side, we can conclude that there needs to be put a lot of effort into constantly tweaking and testing it. And this is the part that EA annoys. Now I personally think that it also has something to do with marketing, since it's easy to say that you have successfully reduced the number of cheaters, even though realistically speaking the number probably didn't change. What I don't like about their announcement post is that they made it look like they have identified Linux as one of the most common ways that people cheat. But in reality, all they are really saying is that it's just another path for cheats. Well yeah, it's a different operating system, of course it's an additional vector. Your job is to keep this vector in check, because otherwise you wouldn't release a game on anything else than one singular platform. Their decision to remove Apex Legends from Linux is quite bad in my opinion, and many in the community seem to downplay this a lot. Ugh, the game sucked anyway. It's a good thing that a bad game is not supported on Linux. Blah blah blah. For a gamer, this just makes Linux unattractive. Nowadays games can work under Proton out of the box, and the only, the only thing that is stopping people from switching over is this one game that they can't play. 
Simply suggesting that they shouldn't play it is not a solution, because they want to play it. And it's a limitation that they don't have on a different operating system. And recently this has increasingly become noticeable. There is no Battlefield or Call of Duty on Linux that still has reasonable player numbers and works. There are almost no competitive titles. And those that do work sometimes have terrible performance and don't necessarily need to solve it because they have no competition. I used to play Battlefield, GTA Online, Call of Duty Zombies and well, of course Apex Legends quite a lot. And I tried most of these games at least once on Linux. But nowadays these anti-G changes affect this experience very negatively. And I honestly don't know if this problem can be resolved anytime soon. It either requires a developer or publisher putting in enough resources so that the market can grow and finally generate some revenue, or the anti-cheat architecture needs to change drastically so that everything that can be checked server-side actually is. Now server-side anti-cheat sounds nice in theory, but as shown earlier, this is already a practice and the client is often just used to minimize issues with latencies. Like if everything was checked on the server and you don't tell the client anything, then some players will see pop-ins of character models or sometimes a hit might not get registered because nothing on your client represents the actual positions of players. It's just not really feasible yet. But what we need in the first place are numbers. Numbers that hurt game publishers financially, not because they don't want to buy a game, but simply because they are unable to play it. And the only way to achieve this is to get more people on Linux. And there are many out there that could switch today. Someone like me, who occasionally enjoys competitive games but doesn't necessarily need them, Linux is perfect. I can still play all of my other games and wait it out until the game supports Linux again. And I'm surely not the only person that has a mindset like that. The general problem that we have with content relating to gaming on Linux is that we are in this sort of bubble, whereas often gamers who are mainly playing more online titles are being reached. For example, those that are looking to squeeze out the maximum performance of their systems are usually not the ones that are mainly into single player games. Like the Linux desktop would be ready for gaming from a technical perspective. And the only thing that is holding it back are these big multiplayer IPs. Which unfortunately aren't that big without a reason. And I believe that Valve in particular can step in and help us here. What I've already suggested a couple of times in the past is that they could add an actual verification program, whereas a game publisher is bound to support Linux for a defined period of time. This verification program gives game publishers the advantage that they receive some sort of badge, which gets displayed in the game's banner or storefront, and immediately makes it obvious that this game will reliably work on Linux. For those that don't want to verify their game, nothing changes and they still receive a regular compatibility rating, but they might not reach as many players as they would with an actual verification. Over time, the number of Linux gamers could increase and the value of this program might become an important factor. Smaller indie developers are able to mark their games as Steam Deck and Linux compatible, while bigger games that might work still have a bit of an uncertainty to them. My appeal to Valve. Make a verification program that benefits those that want to utilize it, but also gives Linux gamers some sort of insurance. Linux is a wonderful gaming platform, not just on PC, but also for stationary consoles or handhelds. It can be shaped into the right tool way more easily than Windows. And the game support, besides anti-cheat related problems, is shockingly good. If we can somehow overcome this problem by placing more trust into the verification program, especially for multiplayer games, then we can finally see a shift in the market. And that is where I leave it. So what do you think of the current situation on gaming on Linux? Was this setback caused by Apex Legend an issue for you personally? Please let us know in the comments. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel, make even better videos, then make sure to check out our membership program as well as our online shop where we are dedicated to support open source projects with every sold item. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Linux videos just like this one. I'm currently planning on creating a test bench so that next year we can finally compare Windows to Linux more properly. But anyway, that's in the future. So all that's left to say right now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.